welcome back to the channel. This week I wanted to deliver you a slightly different video than what I've done in the past. The sounds you're currently hearing are being generated by a modelling unit that costs just 100 English pounds at the time of doing this review. This is not going to be an in-depth, ins and outs, detailed review of this modelling unit. This is more going to be a kind of top line overview of pros and cons I've found since I've been playing with this thing. And I am of course talking about this, the Valaton GP100. When I ordered this unit in for review, it was actually number one best selling in guitar multi effects on Amazon. It does bounce in and out of the top 10 best sellers in guitar multi effects on Amazon, but it always comes up as something like Amazon's choice, Amazon's bestseller, if not something like the top 10. So clearly a lot of you guys are buying this unit and I just had to find out for myself if you're getting something perfectly serviceable for 100 quid or if you're getting something as horrendous as one of those old Zoom or Digitech mini effects units that we used to have back in the 2010s and late 2000s. So let's start with what you actually get for your money. You get a fully metal chassis and expression pedal. The overall build of this thing is really impressive for 100 quid. Yes, the IO on the rear of the unit is just bare bones. I do think they missed the trick by having the headphone jack as a 3.5 and not a proper quarter inch because that way you could run a cable straight out of there into an FRFR speaker or an interface and it would just give you more options for using this live. Sure you can get an adapter in there but they're pretty weak and easily broken. You get some pretty basic packaging but at least within that packaging you get everything you need to use this unit right down to a Type B USB cable. Yes, I'm still moaning about the fact that that didn't come with the Line 6 Catalyst I reviewed. You can get this unit in standard black finish, but for no extra cost, you can also get it in this purple violet finish, which I've chosen here for the review. It looks really cool. And overall, the build I'm just so impressed with for 100 quid. I mean, this thing has a fully metal expression pedal, which units three or four times its price sometimes don't have. I mean, this literally has a more sturdy expression pedal than something like the Line 6 Helix LT with its just horrendous plasticky rubbery abomination. <laughs> Next important question about this is what's it like to use? So what's it like to sit down and program on because you're going to be spending time hopefully not using the presets but building your own effects chains and presets with this thing. I really wasn't expecting much from the built-in tiny little screen and three knob configuration on the front but actually it's perfectly usable. They've set this up I think with just the right amount of flexibility and customization without it being just cripplingly deep. So for example, you can choose from a whole bunch of built-in cab sims and you can also load in custom IRs, but there's not super deep parameters within those cab sims. So there isn't like microphone placement, microphone type, bias, you know, like even with the amp simulations, it's real basic like EQ, gain. Um, and I just think that's perfect. Like if somebody's buying this for a hundred quid, I don't think that they're gonna be going in and tweaking the amount of sag or bias that an amp head has. Um, so I think that 
The reason this thing works as a tiny little screen and three knobs is because it is quite simple, but I don't think it's too simple. Like I really think they've struck just the right balance with what you can do with the signal chain. This thing does have a fully featured desktop editor, which I wasn't expecting much from, I'll be honest, it's 100 quid. Just the fact that it has this feature is really cool. But again, I was very pleasantly surprised with just how intuitive this thing is to use. Everything makes sense. I really like the fact that they have tried to represent a guitar signal chain with graphical elements rather than going with something that is just going to be completely alien to beginners like, for example, the hexagonal interface on the Boss GX100. I mean, that is just going to look like absolute gibberish to a beginner or just somebody who plays now and again for fun. Now on the topic of that desktop editor, one massive issue I had with this unit was I just could not get my own impulse responses to load and work on this thing. You have to use the desktop editor to load them in. Most of the time they wouldn't load in at all. I tried various different resolutions and formats and different IRs I've got from various packs. None of them seemed to make any difference. I did manage to get some of them working, but what would happen is they would load in, they would play fine, I would save the preset, and then when I went back to that preset, they completely disappeared again. So clearly there's an issue there, certainly at least with the Windows version of the desktop editor with getting custom impulse responses to work. I couldn't get it working for long enough to record any tones for you guys with custom impulse responses. So everything you're hearing in this review is actually being played through one of the built-in cabinet simulations. Now this could potentially be where this whole product falls apart, being limited to just the built-in cabinet simulations. Because as we all know, they are the weakest point of virtually any modeling product out there. Luckily, there are two or three in here that are actually quite good. Now, what I ended up doing was for all of my rigs, be it heavy, clean, ambient, I just used the PV5150 cabinet simulation for every single rig. All of the others, for some reason, I just didn't think they sounded great. But something about the PV5150 cabinet in this unit just sounded really like open and neutral and just what I'm looking for from a built-in cabinet simulation. You know, something that isn't too overly uh, compressed or EQ'd or just trying to sound like something it isn't. There is a big list of amp models in this thing, but honestly, I would recommend you just stay with the kind of obvious choices like I did. So something like a Fender Twin or a Matchless for the cleans and something like a 5150 or a Rectifier for your kind of high gain stuff. There is a good selection of bass guitar stuff in there as well. 
and once again I think they've struck just the right balance uh, with the choice of effects they're giving you where you have a good selection but you don't have this overwhelming endless list of just option paralysis. I do think the ideal market for this product is a beginner guitarist or somebody who is just an occasional on-off player and I think once again that type of person is going to pick up this unit and get to grips with it really easily. Yes, you can do some deeper stuff in there, like tweak the signal chain and move around the effects, make them pre or post, but there isn't anything crazy in here like wet, dry, dual signal chains, split signals, there's nothing like that. And realistically, in a product like this, you just don't need that. So my opinion on the Valaton GP100 can be basically summed up with one sentence. And that sentence is, what more could you possibly expect for a hundred quid? This thing sounds good. It has just the right amount of flexibility customization. It has a good selection of amp models and effects that crucially actually sound all right. There was never a time where I loaded up an amp model or an effect and just thought, Christ, that's just unusable. As long as you stick to just a couple of those decent cab sims in there, like the PV5150 cab, all the sounds you're going to get out of this thing are perfectly serviceable. And some of them might even surprise you with just how good they sound. I can absolutely understand why this thing is Amazon's bestseller or Amazon's choice or whatever it is currently at the minute. Because whether you're a beginner guitarist or somebody who does it a bit more seriously like I do, you've really got nothing to lose by adding this to your arsenal of gear. I mean, like, this is a perfect thing you could just take on holiday with you with a set of headphones. Uh, you could take this on the road with you. I mean, it is tiny. It's about the size of a book. So consider me very impressed with the first ever Valaton product I've tried. Clearly there's a lot of you out there who own this thing, if Amazon stats are to be believed. So I'd be really interested to hear how you guys have found this unit. And particularly from those of you who own one of the bigger units like the 200 or the 300, because I'm seriously considering trying one of those now as well. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you found this entertaining or useful in any way, please do think about chucking me a subscribe because it helps me and encourages me to keep producing content for you. Better yet, you can also support this channel via the buy me a coffee link in the video description below. Until the next video, do take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.